this is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. It is Saturday, September 11th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, everybody? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. And hope you know you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck. Spirit. Two of Swords! Two of Swords! You are being indecisive. The swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is being indecisive. You need to make a decision. Um, you see the sword circling her. Um, she's blindfolded. They're pulling on her hair. This means you need to cut something or someone out of your life. Two of Swords. What is crossing it? Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Someone has broken your heart. This is the River of Tears. The cups are falling, or the cups are spilling into this whirlpool. And um, she's depressed, um, heartbroken, pessimistic. And she's only concentrating on the spilled cups. Consciously known, the tower. The tower. This is a cataclysmic change you cannot prepare for. Scorpio energy, I believe. Um, this is source striking down the tower because the tower was not built on a firm foundation. After the tower falls, you can rebuild the tower, but on a firmer foundation this time so that the building will stand probably with another person too after a tower unconscious three of swords there's that heartbreak there's those three cups that have spilled swords are air energy Gemini Libra Aquarius this is being heartbroken Pain, sadness, recent past, Queen of Swords, oh, it was you maybe, Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Swords, she is, Queen of Swords is all about honest, clear communication, if you don't give the Queen of Swords honest, clear communication, she will take her sword and she will cut you out of her life. Queen of Swords makes head over heart decisions. So, you, it looks like you cut someone out of your life. It did, it hurt you though, obviously. But you had to do it. Queen of Swords is very independent and she doesn't take crap from anybody. Near future. Four of Wands. This is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Four of Wands, it's the party card. This is um, having a wedding rehearsal, uh, rehearsal for a hand fasting ceremony, increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Someone new coming into your life, possibly. Where do you find yourself? The Fool, oh, beautiful Aries energy. Her beautiful um, yellow dress. She's got a crystal here. Uh, this is the beginning of a beautiful new journey, taking a leap of faith. Some people say jumping off the love cliff. Someone's coming into your life. External influences. The world, the end of a journey. The world is the last card in the major arcana. The end of a journey, possibly karmic journey. Especially when we have the Three of Swords, Five of Cups, Two of Swords, the Tower. This cycle is ended. 
a new cycle is beginning for you. These are this is all the endings. Oops and or fears. Four swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Four, four of swords. You had to cut someone out of your life. Your heart got broken, and so you are taking some time to yourself to recuperate. This is rest, relaxation, recuperation, rejuvenation. Overall outcome, justice, the Libra card, justice. Let's see the scales. Um, the picture in the mirror is different than um, the the. the Pictured image is different because justice is blind and justice is blind, but justice will come out on your side. Follow the deck. Three of Cups. Happiness, joy, bliss. This is what you need in your life right now. Friendship. See, they all have their arms around each other. Happiness, joy, bliss, friendship. The Hierophant, another card of increase in commitment. Looks like, yeah, justice is swinging in your direction. This talks about order, tradition, stability. Also, the increase in the level of commitment in a relationship, the Hierophant. Seven of Cups, oh, you got options coming in. Cups are water, NG, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Seven choices, seven cups. It means you have options in love coming in. Page of Wands, a passionate new message. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Pages are messengers. This is a passionate new message. I like, I like it. The hangman, the hangman. Yeah, there's been a lot of change in your life right here. The hangman, see the star or the sun over here. This is about spirit, spirituality, meditation, being caught between a rock and a hard place, dark night of the school soul, and learning to look at things from a different perspective. Even though you have got your heart broken new things are coming in for you this cycle you had to you had to quit you had to be queen of swords and cut this cycle off you are good enough full moon and virgo i like it Step out of your comfort zone. North node. Yes. Bottom of the deck. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Well, you kind of been through the battle here. You had, to you had to cut this person out of your life. Broke your heart, though. Took you some time to get over. But the tower had to fall. And now, this karmic cycle has closed. A new cycle is beginning. And you're going to have happiness. Options in love. Passion, new beginning. And increase in the level of commitment. So yes, the tower had to fall, but there's a new cycle coming. I like it. I like it. Step out of your comfort zone. You are good enough. Confidence is your key to success. Beautiful. Look to the future. Look to the future. 
It's going to be wonderful for you. This has been Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. I hope you have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.